Hey guys, Joe here, here today to talk to you about why I think you should play practicing on different stages. Now, by practicing, I mean being in practice mode, I mean playing games against your friends, playing games online, playing games on Athens Ladder, or playing games in a tournament, all those different things. I think you should be practicing in different stages, all tournament legal stages, of course, but you should be doing this for a variety of reasons. Now, I know a lot of you higher skill level players will already be doing this, but a lot of times people just don't really remember this, you know, they try out their combos only on Final Destination or only on Omega stages, and I don't know, trying on a lot of other stages does give you some huge advantages and I'll go over these right now. So the first thing and the main thing is if you play just on Omega stages and if you practice just on Omega stages, you go into practice mode, learn your combos and stuff like that, then you will be used to only the type of slow gameplay that a completely flat stage does give you and you won't really learn how to pressure on platforms. You won't learn any combos from platforms and you won't learn how to go through platforms. Now while this doesn't really matter if you're playing against your friends casually, if you're playing competitively, platforms are very, very important. You want to make sure you can get to those platforms, you can combo within them as we've seen with Mario and Zero Suit Samus, you can get a lot of zero to deaths on them or at least a huge amount of percent there's a ton you can do on platforms, but if you only play on Omega stages, you'll never really figure that out. Also, I'd say, in my personal opinion, I just like playing on platform stage anyway, even in casual, so I don't really know why you're not doing it right now already. The next thing is, of course, online all the time you can meet if you guys good or bad on a certain stage, but when you actually play on that stage and practice against other players and certain matchups, you can kind of get a feel of why your character is good or bad on a certain stage. For example, on a stage like Castle Siege, Lucas is actually pretty good because he has a lot of kill throws and you can kind of kill them anywhere on the stage. But if somebody randomly pick Castle Siege and you haven't really practiced that much on it, and or you just don't really know why your character is good there, you might not even exploit Castle Siege, you might be able to like do some okay stuff, but you won't really know exactly what to do. So I'd say, try to get some practice on these good and bad stages. Another good thing about this is that if you do practice on a lot of the stages that you know you really aren't like way too good at, let's say you're on Delfino and you're like Ganondorf doesn't have the best Delfino at certain times, even if you practice that, it'll make you a lot better at your bad stages, and it'll help you just improve as a whole, so yeah, I'd say that. The next thing is that it'll be pretty much impossible for you to learn combos that only work on certain stages. Now these could be some weird combos like Lucas, Zero to down throw, to neutral air, to re-grab on the platform or Smashville, to down throw, to up air to try to get a kill, or they could be a little bit more simple just like up air strings as Zero Suit Samus on Battlefield, on Miiverse or whatever. There's a lot of different stuff you can learn, but if you do play or if you practice only on Omega stages, you really won't learn this that much. You won't learn all these different combos, and even if you know that you can do them, you probably won't have the experience of doing them, so you won't actually be able to put them into your play of the game you really have to have a little bit of practice and a bit of playing the character on that stage to actually get used to using these different combos and get used to actually using them in the game and just knowing about them really won't help you way too much now of course all of this is fine and dandy but i'd say the number one reason why you really should get used to these different places and just learn to practice on these different stages all the tournament legal stages is that it can get you ready for a tournament and it can kill a lot of the fears before a game now i know for me personally when i was playing pretty much just on omega stages i felt really strong when I was playing on Final Destination. I felt like I could win pretty much every round of Final Destination. But when somebody picked a stage with pretty much a platform with anything other than Smashville, because that's not way too hard, but if anybody picked a stage that's a lot different, like Delfino or Smash, not Smashville, or uh, let's say me versus one of these different stages, I would always lose on it. I would just not really know what to do. I wouldn't know my advantages, my disadvantages. And yeah, and it caused me a lot of fear because I didn't really know what I was good at on that stage. I didn't know what I could do. But if you, of course, have practiced on that stage, if you played on that stage a lot, if you fought versus your friends or fought in some friendlies before, you'll kind of know exactly what you want to do, and it can kill a lot of those tournament fears. I know it has done that for me, and I'd say this is just one of the most important things, because if you do practice a lot on all these different stages, you'll be a lot more comfortable for them than if you just play on one stage all the time. Now, of course, this video did cover stuff about different competitive tournament legal stages, but if you don't know what those are, just look up on Google, all tournament legal stages, Super Smash Bros. 4, and it'll pop you up with the list, this is just what I barely did. Or you can look up, for example, Utah tournament legal stages, or go onto a Facebook page and look up your tournament legal stages. You have to make sure that you know what your state does for the tournament legal stages, or what your country does for the tournament legal stages. You want to practice on just the stages that are allowed in a tournament, you don't want to be practicing on random stages like Gower Plains, those won't really help you way too much in the long run. So do figure out stages are banned and what stages aren't banned and then practice on all the stages this is a little side bit just for all you guys that really don't know what all the legal stages are because they do change for state to state from country to country but in general they aren't way too different so you should be able to find them pretty easily Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed Now I know that this is more focused on newer players, or players that really haven't played way too much competitive, but if you're one of those players, make sure to press that like button, comment button, and subscribe, or show this to one of your friends that only wants to play in Final Destination, and you can give them a reason to play on all the other stages. Thank you guys for watching though, and I'll be seeing you all next time.